In this video, we are going to talk about motion sickness and how to be managed or treated. The ancient Greeks and Romans knew about motion sickness. Even NASA has made note of it. So if you have this common ailment, you're part of a long tradition. People who get car sick, seasick or airsick are experiencing motion sickness. The condition causes cold sweats, nausea and vomiting. Women and children are more prone to motion sickness, but it can affect anyone. Motion sickness is caused by movement such as riding in cars, boats, and amusement rides, or by seeing motion on a screen. What causes motion sickness? You get motion sickness when there are conflicts among your senses. Say you're on a ride at the fair, and it's spinning you around and upside down. Your eyes see one thing, your muscles feel another, and your inner ears sense something else. Your brain can't take in all those mixed signals. That's why you end up feeling dizzy and sick. The role of the ears. Your inner ears, in particular, help control your sense of balance. They are part of a network called the vestibular system. This system includes three pairs of semicircular canals and two sacs, called the saccule and the utricle. They send information about what's going on around you to the brain. The semicircular canals hold a fluid that moves with the turns of your head. The saccule and utricle are sensitive to gravity. They tell the brain whether you're standing up or lying down. The role of the brain. Your brain takes in all this data, and it usually comes together and makes sense. But sometimes your brain gets confusing signals. On a flying plane, for example, you feel like you're moving, but your eyes tell your brain that you don't appear to be going anywhere. The opposite is true as well. After a long sea voyage, you can stand still on dry land but still feel like you're moving. Who might get motion sickness? An estimated one in three people get motion sickness at some point. Women and children aged 2 to 12 are most at risk. Still, the condition can affect anyone. These factors increase your chances of getting motion sickness. Family history of motion sickness. Hormonal birth control. Inner ear disorders. Menstrual periods. Migraines. Parkinson's disease. Pregnancy. What are the symptoms of motion sickness? Motion sickness can take you by surprise. You may feel fine one moment and then suddenly experience some of these symptoms. Cold sweats. Dizziness. Fatigue. Headache. Irritability. Inability to concentrate. Increased saliva, nausea, and vomiting. Pale skin. Rapid breathing or gulping for air. How is motion sickness diagnosed? You may notice a pattern of sickness when you travel. See your doctor if you experience motion sickness repeatedly. Your doctor will do a physical exam. They will look inside your ears and at your eyes. Your doctor will ask you questions about your health history before recommending treatment. How can a physical therapist help? Whatever the reason you're feeling queasy, the good news is, there are specialized physical therapy treatments and retraining procedures to alleviate motion sickness. If you think your motion sickness is affecting your quality of life, working with a physical therapist is advisable. A physical therapist can help you retrain your eye ear connection to take control of your motion sickness symptoms through vestibular rehabilitation using a method called habituation. While habituation doesn't occur overnight, the results are highly effective. During habituation, you will perform vestibular program. This involves visual tracking, head movements, and positions when your eyes are closed. By this method, you can reduce dizziness and improve balance. The goal of habituation is to expose your body to small doses of the same stimuli that cause your symptoms. Initially, it might be uncomfortable, but with subsequent sessions, your sensory systems will make the adjustments and improve your tolerance to same exposure. At Therapy Consultants, we utilize different levels of up-to-date technology to retrain your balance systems in minimizing the uncomfortable feelings or to ensure you can carry out your day-to-day -day activities without limitations. We simulate the challenging environments such as going to the public and crowded areas like airport, grocery store, shopping mall, using elevators, using escalators, 
or taking a boat ride among other eventful scenarios. The customized treatment plan will allow you to enjoy things that you like doing most. We are here to help in ensuring that your next family gathering is something to look forward to, and not a burden that will take all the fun out of it. Feel free to contact us today for your vestibular consultation, you don't have to live with it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.